Every day we see humans bonding with different animal species, oftentimes through rescues, and sometimes they naturally become lifelong friends. This is Hope, a plowshare tortoise. And while he might not look that special, his species is actually critically endangered and the rarest tortoise species on the planet. Which is why this little guy just got lucky for two reasons. The first, he was rescued from smugglers in Hong Kong, along with 57 other endangered tortoises. And second, while he was discovered missing one of his front arms and also the claws on one of his back legs, he's getting a new lease on life. As wildlife experts have now fitted him with specially designed rollers and attached them to his underside, giving Hope the mobility he deserves. Now Chester zookeepers say Hope isn't just getting around okay, he's now the fastest tortoise in his enclosure. Conservationists say the plowshare tortoises are sought by collectors for the distinct gold and black shells, which they add there are only around 300 of these tortoises left in the wild in their native home of Madagascar, meaning every single one saved is good news for the nearly extinct species. A lion lays down in the sun after being caged in a restaurant in Kosovo for almost three years. Reuters reports the lion named Gajan was rescued by NGO Four Paws after many months of legal battles. The Austrian NGO's goal is to send Gajan to their sanctuary in South Africa, but it is hard to tell if Gajan is healthy enough to travel that far. For now, he's in an outdoor bear sanctuary, but the organization is planning to temporarily transport him to the Netherlands. There is no information available on how Gijon was brought into the country, but knowing Kosovo bans the import of wild animals, police suspect he could have been smuggled. These penguins are finally saying goodbye after caretakers with the Argentine Mundo Marino Foundation rehabilitated them and are now setting them free. The 12 Magellanic penguins were rescued at different times earlier this year in the Buenos Aires province, each having symptoms which the caretaker group says range from malnutrition to parasites, even dehydration, which the aid workers say most of the animal's issues can be traced back to climate change and pollution. Magellanic penguins can live to be up to 20 years old in the wild, and they can be found on both the Atlantic and Pacific side of South America. Magellanic penguins are also one of several penguin species that mate for life, so we can't help but wonder if any lifelong unions were made during their recovery. This recent rehabilitation is all part of an effort to conserve these mighty aquatic birds, as the species is currently considered near threatened. Still, these recently released penguins have been given the green light of health and look like they're ready to take the plunge into the wild once again. In the governorate of Nabel, located in northeastern Tunisia, a magical place for pet lovers. Rauda Mansour, a veterinarian with a lifelong passion for animals, converted her house into an animal shelter to save stray animals, mainly cats and dogs, from death and violence. I turned my house into a shelter, says Mansour. We host 150 cats and they are increasing by the day. We also host 25 dogs. I am trying to help them as much as I can. The shelter is run and supported by Mansour herself and is helped out by volunteer staff and animal welfare associations that donate food and medicine. Dr. Mansour's Support Association is an organization created to enable her to keep the shelter going and keep animals off the streets and out of harm's way. I am very happy with this life. There are many who ask me how I can stand seeing difficult cases, but I say I am very lucky to be able to treat them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I call a good person. An unlikely friendship. After a lot of patience, a man has gained the trust of a wild robin to the point where he's able to feed him by hand. Mike Oldridge, who works for the UK's National Health Service as a scientist, says he met the bird, nicknamed Roy, three years ago. Roy now gets to feast on mealworms from Mike's hand, and on occasion, he brings some friends. Mike says he's been feeding robins by hand for at least 10 years. That's a lot of years to have worms in your hands. He says the key to becoming friends with birds is to gain their trust and not make any sudden movements, and by the looks of it, being able to stomach having mealworms on your hands. Talk about birds of a feather. The hunting skills of octopuses are being used to develop next-generation robots. Researchers from the University of Minnesota watched a California two-spot octopus as it tackled crabs and shrimp. Take a look yourself. 
Researchers studied the different hunting tactics. They noticed the octopus would have one eye facing outward, alerting it to when to time a lunge for their victim. Octopuses used arms on the same side as the eye viewing the prey. Researchers saw that no matter what type of prey came by, each octopus attacked using the second arm from the middle. When hunting crabs, octopuses pounced on the prey with a cat-like movement, leaving with the second arm. But when hunting shrimp, the octopuses were more careful to avoid scaring the prey. They led with the second arm and after it made contact with the shrimp, they used neighboring arms one and three to secure it. SWNS says the study aims to offer a better understanding of how octopuses use their arms to aid efforts to develop next generation highly manipulative soft robots or underwater vehicles, which could play a crucial role in deep ocean exploring. Now, did you know that an octopus has three hearts? Yep, one for pumping blood all around the body and the other two for pumping blood to the gills. We'll be right back.